the Blue Diamond Stakes and uh, we're about to uh, go to Melbourne and join Brian Martin for the call of the uh, big one there today. Race number five at uh, Victoria Park in Adelaide. We'll have an opener there after this Blue Diamond. 9.17.2, correct weight on the fourth in Adelaide. Correct weight, 9.17.2. Last couple move forward in Melbourne. The Blue Diamond Stakes for 19.97. Let's join our uh, caller at the uh, track, Brian uh, Martin. As we head over there, six shoe, but now 3.50 and 1.90. And it is the sub for this uh, first leg of the double, final leg of the treble. Good luck if you've got a treble uh, runner here. Get a way of racing in New Zealand. Away from the line is accumulation, the unbeaten filly from the Hawks table. Sports goes up. Now Le Mans is ready, knowledge is set, they're just about ready to run. And the field looks set. Oh, Millwood is fractious. Schubert out past the middle. He's out in 12. Set to go. Racing. Schubert has gone away okay. Millwood bounced away quickly near the inside. And when they settle down away fast out wide on the track, Lady Lexus with sports going with it. Rose of Danehill starting to push up on the inside. Third early and Thriller running fourth and further back accumulation. Millward just behind us found itself over on the fence. Schubert wider out from Cornwall. Queen Cannon Song. Then Evader, Saliar and further back in the race then came the friend Lady of the Pines. Well back Le Mans, Saliar in trouble and knowledge last of all. 6.50 out. Sports the leader. Three quarters in front of Lady Lexus followed by Thriller. Schubert five wide Travelling up on the outside now of accumulation, then Rose of Danehill back on the rail from Cornwall, Queen of Vader. Millwater's back on the inside of Lady of the Pines and further back, my friend pulled out deep, followed by Le Mans. Millwater's hard ridden when they turn for home and Schubert out deep is after Thriller, who's going after Sports and Rose of Danehill getting away from the rail. The leader of Sports, 300 to go, two lengths, Schubert, then Rose of Danehill running on well, followed by Thriller and Knowledge. Not much other chances there. Sports still in front, Rose of Danehill lifting after it. Rose of Danehill and out wide, Knowledge, Knowledge for the back of the field, Rose of Danehill, Knowledge, Knowledge has run on the line, the blue diamond from Rose of Danehill, third is Sports, Schubert ran fourth, then further back Lady of the Pines, Aveda, further back in the race then Cornwall Queen, they're followed by Le Mans, then Thriller Cannon Song, Millward never came into the race, further back on the race accumulation, Lady Lexus, Sally R and near the tail is Befriend. Number five, Knowledge, 28.80 and 7.20. Eight rows of Danehill, $2.90. Third to three, Sports, 5.20. Five, Knowledge, Super Tab, 23.30, Eight rows of Danehill, $2.90. Three, Sports, 6.10. The field has tipped the stable mate, rows of Danehill out. And number three, Sports, which made a... A drive for victory, Rose of Dane, he'll gather it up with about 150 or 100 metres to go, looked as though she may win, then down the outside, much to the chagrin, I'm sure, of Greg Hall on Rose of Dane, he'll, he's looked across, and I'm sure he knew those colours, the colours of mahogany, storming down the centre of the track, the colours of Mr and Mrs Lloyd Williams, and knowledge from the outside gate, the back of the field, has tipped out Rose of Dane Hill and Sports to take the $1 million Mercedes-Benz Blue Diamond. Now, 1,400 the journey. Melanie May very restless, and she's gone through the gates. I hope they can pick her up by, gee, the uh, clerk of the course. One of them's in front of her. Is he going to be able to pick her up here? Another one's coming over on her inside, and they're trying to corral her at the moment. Melanie May is starting to speed up. One of the clerks has done a magnificent job. Leaned across with the right hand. That's the clerk on the uh, near side of Melanie May. Ah, oh, they do a, a superb job. They've collected her, so she's, uh, she's gone down just inside the 1,000 metres. Melanie May, one of the real roughies. In fact, in the field of six years, the rank out, second rank outsider at 30... One to one on the New South Wales Tate. So there will be a slight delay here and uh, she'll have to go back to the barrier, be vetted out. So interstate stations for the moment, it's back to you. And talking about interstate, the next Adelaide race is about eight away and Rod's got the latest. Thanks, Ian. OK, let's have a look at that uh, Adelaide update whilst we have a moment for race number five on the uh, card. Number one, Avec... We go at any tick of the clock. They haven't got time to bring her right back, surely. Or have, are they going to do that? No, no, surely not. Now, here's the start of Mark Webby coming along towards his stand. So we're left with five of them. Melanie May, a late scratching starter, 
On his ladder, presses the button, they're off in the surround. And the best out was the Rafi Gypsy Fire, assertive lass, jumped out well. She's second, late night fun gathering ground quickly now. Two lengths to Priceless Joy, and on her outside is Dashing Eagle. About five or six lengths covers the field just inside the 1,200 metres, and Gypsy Fire is the leader. About a length on assertive lass, a similar margin to late night fun, a length to Dashing Eagle, and three quarters on the inside, Priceless Joy. No change in the order as they come down to the 900. Gypsy Fire getting a break of nearly two lengths on assertive lass a half length on the outside late night fun nearly two lengths to dashing eagle and a head on her inside is priceless joy no change in the order 700 meters left to go on the surround speed hasn't been too bad either and gypsy fire by about three quarters of a length to assertive lass third on the outside and trying to hold assertive lass in the pocket is late night fun a length and three quarters priceless joy and a head to dashing eagle on the outside traveling to the corner i see marshall about to rev up dashing eagle he's going to the extreme outside and Boss has got into the clear on Assertive Lass. Dyer's got into the clear on Assertive Lass as they straighten. Dashing Eagle on the outside and Assertive Lass. Dashing Eagle, however, goes to the lead. And Dashing Eagle, a half length on Assertive Lass, followed by Priceless Joy, who's running a great race, but it's Dashing Eagle in front. The others can't get her at the moment. Priceless Joy, Assertive Lass, battle out miners, but it's Dashing Eagle for the surround. Dashing Eagle wins it brilliantly from Assertive Lass and Priceless Joy. Late night fun, second last, and absolute was Gypsy. Fire. The official placings. One will be the winner, Dashing Eagle, 160 and one dollar even. Second to two, assertive last to pay 130. No third for three, priceless joy. Dashing Eagle, written by Jay Marshall, has paid 170 and 110. Too good. Two assertive last, 120, and there'll be no third dividend for number three, priceless joy. Dashing Eagle has taken her record now to. 20, uh, 13 starts, 6 wins, 2 seconds and a third and with the first prize today of 68,000. The in flame third to go, winning the fly of the centre was... Number one, Dashing Eagle beating two assertive lass and priceless joy in third spot. In they come now for the Chipping Norton Stakes, the uh, all-female combination of Circles of Gold and Leanne Olsen first up. We've got two geldings in the race, Juggler and Dupain. To end tyres, Falante and Octagonal, and of course the Mayor Circles of Gold. Now in goes Dupain on target for the Sydney Cup, and they're all set. This is the Chipping Norton Stakes, and they're away. Circles of Gold from the inside was best to begin, but a don't think Leanne Olsen wants to be there and quickly Falante and J.A. Cassidy scoot to the lead but Ju Payne is working up outside Falante at the end of 350. Circles of Gold pulling her head off. Juggler at her girth on the outside settles well and two or three lengths to Octagonal. Not a lot of speed on 1200 to go and Falante is the leader. Out about a long neck on Ju Payne, a length and not settling at all. Circles of Gold on the inside of Juggler and two and a half lengths to Octagonal over the back of the Warwick Farm track as they run to the one thousand metres and Falante is the leader. Three quarters of a length on Dupain. Circles of Gold is giving Leanne Olsen a torrid ride. Juggler on the outside of it and two lengths further back is Octagonal. He's not all that far away Octagonal but Cassidy dictating terms here on Falante. At 800 metres to go they've travelled more than halfway now. It's Falante the big chest not a half length clear but in a lightning raid RS Die shoots the other entire Octagonal and the big brown races two lengths now on Falante. Juggler called upon Dupain. They beat him off when they spread it, and likewise, circles of gold. Daring tactics by Raymond to Shane Dye on octagonal, and around the corner comes the big fella. He's two lengths on Juggler in hot pursuit, and Falante is starting to struggle. 200 to go. It's octagonal length and three quarters on Juggler. Juggler slowly closing, but octagonal is going great guns. Oh, what a win and what a ride by Dye. Octagonal, too good. Octagonal takes out the chipping Norton from Juggler. Third, Dupain. Fourth, Falante. Fifth and last, Circles of Gold. Great win. Number three, Octagonal. 470-210. One, Juggler. 120. No third for two, Dupain. The speed, they would take off, and Raymond Shane did exactly that on Octagonal. And you've heard the race. The horse has done the rest. He caught them napping. Number three, the headline jockey of Australia, Shane Dye. Number three, Octagonal, $4.70 and $2.20. He was just sitting quietly back fifth on Octagonal, 
as they came down the side past the 800 metres. And then about the 7.50, RS Di decided, right, oh boy, I'm off. And I haven't seen Octagonal accelerate like that at any stage of his career, even as a two-year-old so far from home. Great performance, brilliant ride. Octagonal, number three first. One juggler second, a dollar ten, and there's no third for number two, Dupain. Well, Octagonal, maybe autumn time is his time of the year. And we all know what he did in the autumn 12 months ago. And he's had the two runs back. Well, we're not quite in autumn, but he's had the two runs back this year. A great second here to juggler and the win today. Zabil 8 carat, brown horse four, Woodland stud racing him. Him, Johnny Hawks, the trainer, and Shane Dye, the jockey. Number one, Juggler second, Jugar Cashel in Gay Waterhouse, Glen Boss. And two, Jew Payne, Sir Tristram Best image, Alan Bell, Kevin Moses. And you'd have to say for Lonzo, very, very disappointing. Cassidy able to dictate terms to suit himself until just after the 800. And the horse fell in a hole and has finished in fourth position. Obviously, bit of a problem there, Rodney. Yeah, but you, it was great just to see a jockey show some initiative. Yep, certainly was. Yeah, full marks to die. Some people say, you know, why do you wrap this jockey? Why do you wrap that jockey? I believe in life that you give credit where credit is due. Mm -hmm. And it's as simple as that. And here is testimony of that. his whip to the crowd and of course this day's